It's another gorgeous day. Let's see where we are. Cape are May. Mm -hmm. And around the region, not a bad night to dine al fresco, fire up the grill. I would be right there on the sand. Doesn't that look book. good? Well, let's do mm -hmm. it. Let's go. Good, good. Just a little Kindle. Yeah. yeah. Mm. You, you go Kindle or you go hard I book? I go both. Or, yeah. 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 Easier like to travel with a Kindle. That's true. That's true. Uh, yeah. Today, I, I totally agree. We were just talking about how beautiful it is this mm. morning. The only caveat to that. I washed my truck two days ago, Ooh, right. and I posted this on Instagram. I could write the word pollen right on that the hood thick. of the car. Oh, yeah, easily. Wow. Yeah, you could check it out. Bill Kelly Weather, by the way, if I'd like to connect. <laughs> yeah. you know, there you go. All right, so let me show you what's going on out tonight. Another live shot around the region. There's another shot of Cape May. Gorgeous. Take a look at Ocean City. Same thing. It's not going to be long. We're already in May now. That beach is going to be filled up. More people out on the boardwalk, as you can see, walking around at this hour. Beautiful blue sky with some clouds in Philly. Bethlehem has a lot of sunshine. We're at 80 right now in Philly. Fourth day in a row with a temperature of 80 or greater. But look at the difference down the shore. 58 in Atlantic City, 64 in Wildwood. This is because of this easterly wind. You can actually see our wind lines rolling in from the southeast. Water temperature still only in the 50s. Some spots mid and low 50s, or all spots mid 50s, but uh, some. Last I looked, Cape May two days ago, it was uh, 50 degrees on the nose. So that's that really cool Mother Nature's air conditioner bringing in that air. And that's why our temperatures down the shore are so much cooler. But it's a dry day around everywhere. A couple of clouds here and there uh, in our shore locations. Otherwise, very quiet. So let's get right to your rain chances. No chance tomorrow. Beautiful day, although a warm one pushing the record high temperature. Slight chance on Friday, like 5%. Right? That's a computer-generated number. Typically, typically when it's like 20% or less, we really don't even indicate it or talk about it. So Friday's looking dry. Saturday and Sunday. Now the numbers start bouncing up. Now temperature-wise, we're going to go into the upper 80s tomorrow, 86, 87. The record is 89. It is the last day of the year that our record high is lower than 90 degrees. It's not in the 80s again until late September. Every day after this one, the record's either in the 90s or triple digits. Then we're going to cool things off dramatically on Friday with these temperatures, about 70 degrees or so. So let's focus in on your seven day. We're going to say 86 for the forecast tomorrow, 71 on Friday. Both days are dry, near record warmth for you. Here's the deal with Saturday, Sunday. We were talking about this yesterday. We're confident on, on the cool down, confident on the breeze, confident on the rain. Where the models are diverging is the timing. They are starting to fall in a little bit more in agreement. So we're thinking later in the day, Saturday, Saturday night, and probably into the day Sunday, your Broad Street run certainly has that chance of some rainfall there, but it's very unsettled as we speak. So stay tuned on that. Warmer next week. We'll be right back.